subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Rothschild's Giraffe. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, this is a remote control plane my uncle gave me. Do you want to see if it works? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Woohoo, it's flying. Look, Hero, I'll make the plane turn. Oh no, my plane. Oh great, it looks fine. Oh wow, it's a giraffe. It's so tall. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hey giraffe, say cheese. Hi Katie, so what did you find? Hi Leo, the giraffe in our garden is a Rothschild's giraffe. Most giraffes have orange or brown patches on their legs. The Rothschild's giraffe, however, is the only giraffe with no markings on their legs from the knees down. But that's not all that makes the Rothschild's giraffe different. Rothschild's giraffes have five ossicones on their heads. Ossicones are horn-like shapes. Other giraffes have only two ossicones. Wow! So we have a very special giraffe in our garden. And guess what? The giraffe you found is still young. And it can grow to become almost twice as tall. That's up to six meters. Unfortunately, the Rothschild's giraffe is also one of the rarest giraffes in the world. Which means there are only a few of them left. Currently, wild Rothschild's giraffes live in protected areas in Uganda and Kenya in eastern Africa. Hmm. It's very important that we find a home for the giraffe in one of those protected areas. Come and join us. Yes, let's go. See you downstairs. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have a young Rothschild's giraffe with you today. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We are taking it to a protected area because there aren't many Rothschild's giraffes left in the world. The number of Rothschild's giraffes has decreased over the years. In fact, they are endangered, which means they could be gone from this world forever. People hunt them for their meat and skin. Some people even hunt them for their tails, which are made into good luck charms. Oh no, that's so sad. But there might be hope for them. As you may know, Rothschild's giraffes live in protected areas. There are also a few hundred Rothschild's giraffes kept in zoos. Perhaps the number of Rothschild's giraffes will increase. I hope that happens. So how can we find a good home for our giraffe ranger, Rocky? Rothschild's giraffes live in small herds, so you should find a herd for your giraffe to join. These giraffes love to eat the leaves of the thorny acacia tree. If you can find acacia trees, you'll probably find other Rothschild's giraffes. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. What happened, Leo? Let me take a look, Katie. Oh no, the rear wheels are stuck in the mud and we're in the middle of nowhere. What should we do? Hmm, let me see. We need to remove as much mud as we can from around the tires. That way the tires can get unstuck more easily. Okay, let's start digging. This should work. Now we have to look for twigs and dry leaves. 
If we place these under the tires and on the tire tracks, the tires can get a firmer grip. We should be able to drive out of the mud. Hmm, but I don't see any twigs lying around. That's okay, Leo. The giraffe is picking twigs for us. Smart giraffe! This should be enough. Thank you, giraffe. Katie, you drive the jeep. Then I'll push it. Okay, Leo. It's working! Yay! Take good care, giraffe. We did it! We found the Rothschild's giraffe a home. Great job, everybody. Yay! Hooray! a Rothschild's giraffe in our garden. We learned that Rothschild's giraffes are protected in some places because there aren't many Rothschild's giraffes left in the world. So we took the giraffe to one of those places where it's protected so it can live with other Rothschild's giraffes. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The giant panda. Hmm, a bit of green here and... Oh, hi everybody. My name is Leo and I am a junior ranger. This is my puppy, Hero. <coughs> this? Oh, I'm painting the garden, but it's missing something. Hmm, <gasps> that's it. Hero, go sit over there, then I'll paint you in it. <coughs> Thank you, Hero. Perfect. This looks a bit strange. Wait, why is Hero black and white? And why does Hero look rounder? Hey, you're not Hero. You're a bear? There you are, Hero. Where did you go? And who are you? Are you lost? Hmm, where did it come from? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look here, Bear. Hi, Katie. Did you find any information? Hey, Leo. The computer is coming up with information about our new friend. There. A panda. Also known as panda bear. Or a giant panda. A giant panda, but it looks small. That's because this panda is a young panda. It can grow up to 1.5 meters long and weigh more than you, me, and Hero combined. Where do giant pandas come from? Giant pandas come from the central parts of China. There, they live almost entirely on a bamboo diet. They love eating bamboo. There's no bamboo in the garden. We have to find a place where there is bamboo. Come and join us. That's a good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Hi, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the rainforest. I see that you brought a panda friend. Yes, he's a young giant panda. We found out that panda's main source of food is the bamboo. You're absolutely right, Katie. A giant panda has to eat a lot of bamboo. In order to do that, this black and white bear spends half the day eating. They prefer to be alone and do not move around much. What if their predators come? Despite their large size, 
Giant pandas can climb trees very well. They can swim, too. They have ways to protect themselves. Unfortunately, giant pandas are hunted for their fur, and they are losing their homes and food because bamboo forests are disappearing. There are only about 1,600 to 3,000 pandas left in the wild. Oh, dear. We must save this young panda. We are trying to find its home in the forest, Ranger Rocky. Well, this is not the right forest. What you need to find is a bamboo forest. And bamboo forests can be found high in the mountains. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. We are finally at the mountain and brr, it's cold. Let's put on our scarf and gloves. Good idea, Leo. Did you see any bamboo? Hmm, I don't think so. Let's walk around to find the bamboo forest. <coughs> what is it, Hero? Oh no, the young panda is gone. Where did it go? It must have wandered off while we were putting on our scarves and gloves. We have to find him. Can you smell the panda, Hero? <coughs> Great! We'll follow you! Hey! I saw something black and white behind that rock! Oh my! It's not the young panda! It's a raccoon! Sorry, raccoon! Can you smell the young panda, Hero? There! Something black and white behind those plants. <laughs> oh dear! It's a mother goat with her children. She looks angry. Let's go! <laughs> I think Hero found something. There you are. We've been looking for you, Panda. Phew! I'm glad that it's safe. <coughs> we did it! We found the bamboo plants. Great work, everyone! Yay! <laughs> in our garden. We learned that giant pandas live in bamboo forests in the mountains. So we found a bamboo forest where he can eat all day. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Green Iguana. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Those are juggling balls, Hero. Check me out. Can you pass me another ball, Hero? Thank you. This is getting difficult. Ah! Oh dear. Let's find those balls, Hero. It's a lizard. Whoa, that's a strong tail. I wonder what kind of lizard it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, lizard. Hi, Katie. So what did you find about the lizard? Hi, Leo. This lizard is a green iguana, also known as the common iguana. Some green iguanas come in different colors, and they can change their color when they get older. The green iguana you found is still young. An adult iguana can grow up to two meters long. Green iguanas are herbivores. They feed on leafy green plants, flowers, and fruits. Green iguanas can be found in rainforests of Central, South America, and the Caribbean. Green iguanas like to spend most of their time in trees. When they are high up in the tree, they can enjoy the sunlight. Sunlight helps them control their body temperature. Then we should bring our new friend back to the trees in the rainforest. Come and join us. 
The green iguana would love that, Leo. See you downstairs. Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the rainforest. What did you find in your garden this time? Ah, a green iguana. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We want to return it to its natural home. We found out that green iguanas like to be high up on a tree. Correct, Katie. The coloring of their bodies helps them to blend into the trees. However, iguanas still have to keep a constant lookout for predators, like hawks, eagles, or snakes. On top of having excellent eyesight to do just that, green iguanas also have a third eye. The third eye of the green iguana is right on top of the iguana's head. It's also known as the parietal eye. The third eye does not see as normal eyes do, but it can sense movement and change of light. The third eye is particularly useful when iguanas are looking out for hawks and eagles that fly above them. What happens when green iguanas encounter their predators? Green iguanas can put up a good fight with their long tails, sharp teeth, and spines on their bodies. Their dewlaps can be raised to make themselves look bigger, too. Unfortunately, green iguanas face other threats. People like to keep them as pets, but most people don't know how to take proper care of them. Many iguanas in captivity die within a year due to a lack of sunlight or proper food. The green iguana belongs on branches high up in the trees, where it can receive enough sunlight and find food to eat. To find branches that are high enough for plenty of sunlight, you have to go deeper into the rainforest. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. I think this is a good spot for the green iguana. Enjoy, iguana. Let's hope this is the right place for it. <coughs> Look up there, Leo. It's a hawk, one of the green iguana's predators. Why is the green iguana not running away? Green iguanas blend well into their surroundings. They will stay very still until a predator passes them by. <coughs> it's too late! Let's use our propellers and distract the hawk. Oh no! Great move, green iguana! <coughs> its tail came off. Now let's get away from here. Poor iguana. Don't worry, Leo. Sometimes green iguanas drop their tails when they are trying to escape from a predator. This might help them get away. The iguana will even grow a new tail. Really? That's great to hear, Katie. We found the green iguana's home. Great work, everybody. Yay! We found a green iguana in our garden. We learned that green iguanas like to stay high up in trees to enjoy the sunlight. We also learned that green iguanas like to live near water. So when there's danger, they can escape by jumping into the water. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The honeybee. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I'm a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. It's a perfect day for a picnic. We have chocolate cookies, cakes, apples, and bananas. And look, 
I even have your favorite doggy snacks. Not so fast, Hero. We have to wait for Katie. Let me call her. A bee? Hey, don't go near the cakes. Hero, careful. You're knocking over all the food. I wonder where it came from. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This bee is a honeybee. A honeybee? Yes, a honeybee. There are many different types of bees, but this one is an eastern honeybee. It has distinct golden yellow and brown stripes across its body. Where do they come from? Eastern honeybees come from South and Southeast Asia. They can be found in many countries. There, the honeybees collect nectar from flowers by eating the nectar. When these worker honeybees return to the beehive, they give the nectar to other worker honeybees. These honeybees will put the nectar in the honeycomb cells and use their wings to fan it. This will change the nectar into honey. The bees will use the honey as a food source. So that's how honey's made. Hey, what kind of shape is that? That's a hexagon. Honeycomb cells are shaped that way because they use the least amount of beeswax to build a beehive. Honeybees prefer to build their beehives in small spaces like hollow trees. Hmm, if we want to have a peaceful picnic, we should bring this honeybee back to its beehive. Come and join us. That's great, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the forest. Ah, is that a honeybee? Yes, Ranger Rocky. We are trying to bring him back to his beehive. Not him, Leo. This is a female bee. It's a she. This is clear from her yellow stripes. And all worker bees are female. Worker bees are responsible for gathering nectar, building the honeycomb cells, feeding the babies, Tending to the queen bee... There's a queen? Yes, the queen makes all the baby bees. It has a longer body and smaller wings. The male bees, also known as drones, are rounder in shape and have bigger eyes. These drones only have one job, which is to help queen bees from other beehives make babies. The drones don't have a sting like the female worker bees do. A uh, sting Honeybees only sting if they feel their beehive is in danger. These hard-working creatures just want to protect their colony. Where can we look to help this honeybee find her colony, Ranger Rocky? Hmm, bees are attracted to brightly colored flowers. Perhaps you can start looking for those. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Here we are at the flower field. I see flowers, butterflies, birds, but no bees. Let's try to look for a beehive in a tree. What is it, Hero? You already found a beehive? Great work! But this bee looks a bit different, though. Careful, Junior Rangers. That's not a honeybee. That's a wasp. And unlike the honeybee, a wasp can be very aggressive. Oh no! More of them are coming out! That's bad news, Leo. Honeybees will die after they sting, but not wasps. They can sting multiple times. You better run! There's some water. Let's take out our snorkel masks and jump right in. Whoa! 
house. Oh no, where's the honeybee? The jar is gone. It's the honeybee. She's hiding in a honeysuckle flower. Come in, honeybee. We'll make sure we stay far away from those wasps. Goodbye, bee. We did it. We found the beehive of the honeybee. Yay! We found a honeybee in our garden. We learned that honeybees have workers, a queen, and drones, and that they make honey. So we went to a forest and found a tree with a hollow that contains a hive. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.